Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Foley, editor at Travel Week, and I'm here with Ron Lonsdale, who is Vice President Canada for Colette. Welcome, Ron. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me, and uh, just uh, thank you everybody out there, and ho hopefully they're continuing to stay safe, well, and healthy, and keeping the good physical social distancing. That's right. Always got to remember that, right? Yes. Yes. Washing our hands constantly. That's right. Yeah. Um, so we just wanted to talk today, Colette had some great news recently about their advanced commission payment program, and that we're, we're going to get to that in a little bit. Uh, that's sort of the, the big highlight, especially for agents. But we just wanted to find out, first of all, of course, I mean, we're six months into this thing, which is, you know, mind boggling, but here we are. And it, it's a testament to this industry that everyone is, is uh, you know, for the most part, still here. So can you just tell us how Colette has been managing this whole pandemic? And, you know, what's, what's been your strategy to sort of, you know, stay afloat? Well, that's, that's a, it's a great question, and uh, we're very empathetic to the situation that our whole entire wonderful industry is in. Um, this, uh, the past six months has been very difficult, and, uh, but Colette, beginning in business uh, for, I mean, 102 years, and we've seen many trying times, uh, events like these, like 9-11, several wars, you know, the financial meltdown in 2008, SARS, Zika, we can go on and on and on. But COVID has been unprecedented uh, and it's hit us the hardest. Um, but I, what I would say is, you know, through our executives or strategic leadership team is the learnings from the past we apply today. So we've been very conservative in how we operate the business, uh, then, now, and always. We remain probably you know, financially stable, um, which is important. We have adequate reserves uh, to ride out this pandemic, even if we don't even operate a tour all throughout the, you know, of 2021. We don't expect that to be the case. <laughs> so that is financially sound and strong despite the challenges we face. But um, the one thing is I think is that we have a robust organization, incredible executives, you know, strong strategic leadership team. Our employees, like they've been remarkable, resilient, very positive, upbeat, like the, the industry in itself. And we've come out of, we're gonna come out of this stronger and we're already seeing positive signs. So the one thing is encouraging, the last several weeks, we've had more new bookings than rebookings. Oh. And um, overall international tours are selling very well. Um, and, and the good news is that normal bookings for 21, um, we're, we're, we're seeing them to continually hold for 21. Um, and our agents and our guests are clearly looking beyond the pandemic, you, you know, so to resume their travel plans and when it's safe to reconnect the joy of travel, we're going to be ready. But, you know, that seems to be what we're doing. And uh, I think we have a very good, strong communication strategy. Um, we, we weren't in the pause. We weren't in the dark. We've always kind of kept people abreast as to what the situation, what we're doing, very transparent, uh, um, especially uh, throughout this whole entire ordeal. As you said, I mean, that's to know that there are reserves on hand. That is incredibly important. People want to know that uh, as amazing as it is, people, companies do have reserves on hand. They have a war chest. They, they can ride this out. And as you said, staying transparent, communication is key. And also, you know, in some way, because it's been six months, people are kind of used to this, you know, oh my gosh, are, are we ever going to be able to travel again? And you're right. They're looking ahead to 2021 saying, okay, 2020 is probably a lost year. I think a lot of people have uh, basically uh, gotten adjusted to, and now we're just going to start focusing on 2021. So that, that's, that's great to hear. I, I know that Colette is sort of the last I heard you were doing assessing departure dates sort of 30 to 45 days out. Is that still happening? And, and can you let us know, have there been any departures like say within Canada domestic tours uh, that have so, gone? Yeah, we're a global company and, and to be very mindful and Canadian centric, uh, we're not operating any tours out of Canada. That being said, um, uh, our good neighbors from in the south, uh, we resumed operations July 1st. Okay. Oh, and sorry. Within, within yeah. the U.S. Like with U.S. With, within okay. the U.S. And we've had several departures go out. Okay. And we have several departures going out through the month of September. And um, it, it, it's it, and so how we were doing it, we're assessing departures 30 to 45 days out. And uh, we align that with final payment. Uh, but uh, we've had South Dakota, Badlands, Mackinac Island, America's Music Cities, America's Cowboy Country. What's interesting is we've, you know, we have the new traveling well experience that we can talk about a little later. But, you, you know, our philosophy wasn't to suspend 
uh, and wait till this there's a vaccine and when it's completely safe to travel. So we're putting in the modifications and, and changing up and, you know, so when we are ready. And okay. uh, so we've been getting great feedback and our tour managers have uh, been providing a full report, a debrief on, on customer and guest behavior, you know, how our vendors have been working with us and, you know, uh, and, and it's, we've had raving um, testimonials and it's, uh, it's on our website and uh, yeah. we're using people, they're authentic reviews. So yes, real people. Yeah. good and bad. And, <laughs> and, and again, uh, we talk about Colette being in business for 102 years and your learnings, right. And how you apply those. And, um, and that's what we're doing now. So, okay. you know, we're going to be ready. So, so on those tours, so within the U S the, the, uh, you said all the different U S tours that you're doing, are there, I'm sure that there's smaller groups, uh, more space on a coach. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So, you know, I always say like each, each guest deserves a memorable, fulfilling travel experience and um, uh, the, the well-being and enjoyment and, and the safety is the first and foremost, the priority. And so what we've done is uh, we're right, running at 50% capacity. Okay. So we're keeping that good physical social distance on the coach. Um, our tour managers, well, you know, they got to go through COVID training and, uh, it, right. And, uh, and also working with our, our local experts, our vendors and, you know, how the repurposing lobbies, no buffet breakfast and, you know, subgroups for, for dining and choice on tour that, you know, something unique and different w with Colette. And so, you know, increases and wearing, you know, we're providing a face mask. Um, technology we talk about is uh, our Colette Compass app where now we're not doing handouts and everything is going to be doesn't require data it's on your tablet your phone and so that you have your day-to-day -day, uh, uh, itinerary travel tips know before you go and you know city maps and, and, and various other things that's going to help you uh, throughout the journey which is which is you know and I know um, because the states has already started to travel obviously Canadians are uh, quite frustrated to some extent to not being able to travel, but at least with those tours already happening, then it can, you know, work out the kinks and it sounds like it's going really well. And, and, and then once Canadians are able to travel, then we'll be in business. Absolutely. And, and the one thing is, you know, so again, uh, you're, you're learning from experience, but uh, the smaller groups, what we've done too is our classical signature tours, which is a, a premium, premium product. Uh, what we've done is uh, we put a smaller group, symbol on the website where we've capped guests at 29 we'll average about 21 guests okay. and as you know one of our distinctive travel styles explorations are small group reinvented where uh within europe it's it's capped at 24 we're going to be averaging 15 to 19 outside of europe um internationally we'll be capping at 19 averaging 12 guests oh, wow. so yeah so That's that great. you know what so again when we talk about how we have evolved and changed you know, the way we travel is going to travel, is changing. And uh, the small group touring is, is what people are going to be kind of, well, we're seeing it through our traffic engagement from our website, which people are searching now, so. Okay, okay, so that's good. Um, yeah. let, let's talk about, obviously, uh, sort of the headline news was your advanced commission program. Um, that's amazing. And, and partly it's that, so when, when you receive the deposit, that agents will get a portion of the commission and also that it won't be recalled if the clients cancel, do you want to give us just a bit of an overview of it? But? Yeah, um, so it's it's in the thank you for uh, uh, bringing this up, and we're very excited. Uh, we understand this, it, this pandemic's been very challenging, very difficult. I, the agent community and the strategy, well, the strategy was to give the agent a commission pipeline. Okay. You know, we want to help agents rebuild their business and give them a cash flow. That's what we're we're hearing. Uh, I think Matthew Upchurch, uh, the CEO with Virtuoso, did his weekly video uh, to the network, and he called it a smart business decision for Colette. Okay. So what we're doing is the Colette Advanced Commission Program is we're we're paying a hundred dollar per booking for land only, one hundred and twenty five per booking for land and air bookings, and we're paying two hundred dollars per booking for any booking that includes Colette's travel protection plan. Um, we understand how hard the travel advisor works, so we'll never recall the advance commission, even if the trip cancels or the client has any apprehensive of not going, and we're allowing a 30-day flexibility for that. Okay, that's okay. amazing. I know that's been, yeah. you know, there, there's been, you're right, agents have gone through an incredible amount of stress and work, and it's still going, and, 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 and you know, not, not many bookings for some agents uh, 
uh, bookings are still quite low. Um, and so it's just such an incredibly stressful time. So just knowing that you have a company like Colette in your corner, it's a trusted partner, you know, agents have booked Colette for years and years. So it, that, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, the, the advantage commission will be paid a month following when the deposit is received. And this is going to be a long-term program. So we're going to offer this program with any bookings made through the end of 21 for departures May 1st, 2021 and beyond. And that will be including over Amigal. Uh, that's okay. Uh, yeah. In 2022. So. And so have you, you know, any sort of shout outs from agents that you've been getting? That yeah. Ready? You know what? I, 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 I didn't want to look down, but I'm like, I can't remember all, but you know what? Everybody was just saying great initiative you know, bold, forward thinking, you know, the old, you know, the, the, it's archaic to pay 30 days after travel. And so we're, it, it's just, you know, I'm getting inundated because, you know, we are in it together. And, uh, the, you know, the one thing is we talked about travel service fees and in conjunction with this uh, forward commission payout to, or advanced commission payout. So, you know, we, you know, the one thing is we're hearing our value agents and they're, you know, they're going to be so much more valued now than ever. And, you know, again, we just want to do what we can to better serve and support them. That's great. Cause I know, you know, especially with Paulette, you have a very high percentage of your bookings that would come through agents. Is that correct? Yes. Um, I, I have to say, <laughs> Um, I would say 98%. Yeah, okay, uh, you know what, that, that's actually the number that came to mind, so I knew it was. Uh, yeah. that, that's uh, you, you, you know, our, our whole philosophy and strategy is, is through our value agent partner. Um, you know, we're not going to devalue the travel professional. So we're not working with the likes of Costco. We're not allowing any discounts with OTAs. Yeah, we're partners. Yeah, that's and, great. That's uh, great. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's the, you know, I could show you all the testimonials here. I have them all here. <laughs> Yeah. But the, your number one tour operator and, you know, it's just, again, um, it's so important that, you know, to sustain business in local communities, that's what we talk about. And I think travel is going to be so much more meaningful and purposeful. And when you look at even, you know, I talk about our collect social responsibilities. We talk about the places we live, we work, and we travel. A big part of that is our agent community. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's great to hear. I know that agents appreciate everything that you're doing. Some of them might be wondering, would you also consider doing any sort of insurance product? I know, you know, it seems like every week we've got companies coming on board with insurance products, which is, I mean, that, that has been one of the biggest stumbling blocks in, in addition, of course, to the quarantine and the advisory, but not being able to get insurance for a lot of people, that's just sort of a deal breaker. So would Colette, has Colette thought about sort of, you know, going into well, that, getting insurance? Well, Catherine, I, I hate to surprise, surprise you, but we've yeah. always had it. It's oh, been really? our oh, okay, industry travel industry protection plan. It's been the best. So we uh, give a cash refund 24 hours prior to departure. Okay. No age discrimination, no pre-medical condition, trip delay, baggage, medical, and it covers COVID. It does, I was going to say, because that's my question. I was thinking in my head, like, okay, this is all, good, it's all good, but where's the magic COVID word? Okay. That's a yes, good. So, it so, does. You built, so I'm surprised that you, uh, you, are, you always had the insurance assistant program, but you have built in COVID coverage. Yes. Is that something yeah, you, do, do most agents, are, are, are your loyal partners aware of that, do you think? Are you getting well, the word in there? Well, what I'm going to do after our Zoom, uh, yes. I'm going to forward you the flyer that actually has very simple and easy understanding language. Okay. Uh, it's consumer facing for the agents to share with their with their clients. Okay. Um, because I think it's important because um, we've always covered trip interruption and and COVID is part of that as well. And so again, you know, even back in 9/11, I think within a three week period we gave 32 million dollars. Okay. Uh, and within a three week period. But to date, I think we've given over a hundred million dollars in cash refund. Wow. Wow. And, okay. and I, I think the important thing is a, again, a fiduciary responsibility. So you don't render a travel service. You shouldn't keep people's money. So that's why, you know, we are being very transparent on how this does cover COVID trip interruption, you know, again, no age, no pre-medical conditions in 24 hours, you know, you can change your mind for a bad hair day. That's how. That's amazing. Getting, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how COVID put things in perspective, right? But, but good hair is still important. So yes, it is. Still important. But that's incredible. I mean, to, to have for agents to have that selling tool in their arsenal is amazing. And also just for, for consumer peace of mind, I mean, insurance without traveling without insurance in this time, I just don't think many people are, they're not comfortable with that. Yeah. And, 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 and I think the way we sell travel again, it will be, you know, the, the insurance first and then talk about stability of a supplier and, 
and then talk about the why and the alluring, the appeal and the destination. And, you know, but uh, I think we need to cover that off first. And uh, I think we're going to make it very easy for the agents to do so. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, just that that comes to our last question, of course, yeah. if you have any, this whole, the whole interview has been a message for your loyal travel agent partners. Yeah. Is there any, do you want to sum it up and just have any message for, for agents? You know, since we've paused, I mean, we're trying to be an inspiration, keep positive, keep relevant. Um, we, we, you know, George Christakis, our head of sales and our talented BDM teams are, are really uh, reaching out to the agents and to look at opportunities and using a platform like this to do virtual consumer events, um, you know, training. Uh, groups are an integral part of the business and, they're, you know, we're making it even more easier. No up from money, no minimums. We're going to get free marketing, digital support. So, you know, I would, I would encourage the agents to reach out to the local BDM because I think now is important to educate. You know, travel is such the true educator. It's one of the few things that you can buy that makes you richer. Travel will be more meaningful and purposeful. And our agents are going to be an inspiration. Um, our agents and BDMs collaboratively working together will be that inspiration to leverage and build that trust and confidence for people to travel in the future. Okay, that's great. It's uh, I know we, we've come a long way with this, and uh, there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel, and, and that sums it up very well. Thank you so much for joining us, Ron. I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you. I hope uh, I well, hope you. Just find out everything there is to know about Colette, and especially that insurance. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine, and all the very best to all your listeners and readers. Take care. Bye-bye.